Hey everyone, it's Leanne. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. I've been away from my channel for about a month, if you've noticed, if you're a subscriber. Um, I fell on the ice and I fractured my hand, so I've been having a little bit of trouble filming videos, but I'm in a splint now and I was able to take it off just for the video, so I thought it would be fun just to look at some art over the Christmas break. This is something that I started last year, so I got this book last year for Christmas, and this is Samantha Dion Baker's Draw Your Day. She has a wonderful Instagram account, and I'll link it below, and so this book just outlines how to journal your day through drawings, and she primarily uses watercolor and pen and ink, and I just thought that this method was really beautiful because it's non-committal. Outside of the fact that you're journaling every day, you don't have to do a masterpiece with every drawing. It's just about getting the practice in. And with this stage in my art, that's really what I need. And I'm still relatively new to watercolor and drawing. And so this was a really comfortable way for me to jump in. So this book really gave me a head start and I did my first journal and so I've completed this journal and I thought it would be fun just to look through my journaling and show you guys what I did and maybe it'll give you some inspiration as well. So uh, the notebook I picked up is from Pentalic and um, I'll link them below too or link this notebook. I really like the size, it's something I can throw in my bag easily and it's got 100% cotton watercolor paper. So the thing with that is that it works the best with watercolor. It's made for watercolor. You can wet the paper quite a few times if you're using layers or multiple layers of watercolor uh, pigment and I find that it just works up really well. So I've been using these books and I love them. This is a sticker I made and so I actually drew this bird in my journals and I thought he was really cute. I made him a sticker and put him on the front of my book. I'm a big bird nerd so I was really excited about him, how he turned out. So let's take a look at my journal. So this is my cover page and I was really scared making this because I was pretty intimidated and didn't want to mess up my book because you know what it's like with the first page. But I did this and I marked a little calendar showing the dates. And so you can see I started this on Boxing Day last year, December 26th, and I finished it April of this year. So let's take a look at my drawings. This was my first spread and this was heavily inspired by Samantha's Instagram page if you look at her formats. Um, and in the book it talks about doing all little clips of your day, not necessarily just um, a one image, but doing little snippets throughout the day. So I did um, show the book that I got for Christmas and this was from Boxing Day. I went to my mom's for a leftover turkey dinner and the um, family was booked to come home in the train, so I mentioned that, and just little bits of my day. This is my mom's cat. Cats are really hard for me to draw, um, but I thought this picture of Coda, which is my mom's cat, turned out pretty good considering. And then the next day we went to um, out for lunch and just some little things about my day, making coffee. I was painting my bedroom and redoing that room there. I got this really beautiful Christmas ornament. So I showed that in my journal as well. As I progressed through my journal, I found it was easier to not do um, a whole bunch of drawings, but I liked the idea of just doing a couple. It felt less exhausting to me because I was really intimidated about even putting anything down on the page. So when I just picked one item and drew it, it felt a little more comfortable for me at this stage. And so I just documented some of my Christmas gifts. We went to bingo for New Year's. My grandma and my mom and sister love bingo, so I usually tag along with them. And I just documented a picture that I took with my cell phone and drew this later of my cards. I got a fountain pen for Christmas and some a bracelet and this little horse. Um, uh, it was a little ornament that I got. It was really cute. And then just random things from my day two. This was a picture I took uh, when I was in Tokyo at the Imperial Palace Gardens of the Koi Fish, and this is my desk plan at work. Some ink I ordered, and I was uh, cashing in the leftover yens I had from my trip. And so normally what I do, or what I did for this, and I find it works really well, is when I'm out during the day, I just take pictures with my cell phone because I'm not able to draw on location as easily. So I take pictures with my phone, and then I pick from those photos which ones I want to draw next. And so I find that when I'm sitting at my art desk, I feel less intimidated and less rushed. And so I can really take my time and focus on what I'm drawing. 
And so these are some other snippets from my day. This is coffee, instant coffee I had left over in my suitcase from Japan, and I just uh, used that because I was short on coffee that day at work. We went out for lunch, and I really like the way this turned out. This was um, a really big favorite on my Instagram page of my burger and fries, and I really like how that turned out. And some bingo again. These are more pictures from my travels. We went to the conveyor belt sushi in Tokyo at Genki Sushi, and that was really fun. It was quite an experience. I really like drawing food. I find that's really fun. Um, some can be tricky, but uh, I think it's good practice with my journal. And then we went on the train to pick up my sister. I really liked the design of the 40th anniversary of Via, and so I took a snapshot of one of their luggage tags. And then some more images from my travels and just some things from my day. My sister was visiting and the kids loved to watch the B movie. We watched a lot of the B movie, so I just took some uh, pictures of that and drew the B movie. And then the kids had cheesies. They like their little cheesies, so I put those in my journal as well. This was a picture on the train, and so I took this from my seat, my point of view, and I drew the objects on the train and then um, that was the main focal point that I colored and left everything else black and white just to do um, just a little bit of a different try and the thing with this too I found as I go through my journal um, I experiment a little bit more and so when I first started out I did a lot of line work and I would draw everything with line work first and then apply my color after and I do use a pencil to sketch everything out uh, just to make sure that I get everything right because I'm still quite new and at this point I definitely was very new at drawing. And so it helps too when you're trying to estimate the position of the items on the page to just sketch them out and block out the space before you apply any color. This was one of my first bird drawings. One, the first thing I ever made in watercolor was a bird, and so I was so happy with how he turned out. I just think birds are really cute, and um, I researched this bird. We have them at our house, but I didn't know what they were called, and they're called dark-eyed juncos. So I was pretty excited to find out what they were and then draw a picture of them. And then this is from our front room window, our cat's watching outside at the squirrels, and they're always in the bird feeder, and the cat goes bananas. Um, but it's pretty funny. We get a kick out of watching her get worked up over the squirrels. And then this is the bird that was on the cover of my um, book. And so I just wanted to draw a bird this day. I didn't take this picture, but I found a picture online, and uh, a few reference photos, and just kind of composed it and brought that together. But birds are probably my favorite item to draw. And this is a special one. This is the rocking chair of my great great grandma's that my mom has. And it's been in our family over a hundred years and it's still works amazing. It's um, it's just really special um, item to us. So this is a document of my water system broke and we had to dig up the yard in March and if you live in Canada you know how cold it can be and the ground was frozen and it was crazy to deal with so I do have that memory in here as well and thankfully the water's fixed now so everything's good. But it's nice to look back on the journal and just remember these little snippets because I can see pictures that I drew and then remember exactly where I was and what was going on that day just through a picture, which is just wonderful. And it's fun to look at too. It's fun to have these memories in this format. And so this was the last entry. And so this was of my niece and she won first place at her cheer competition and I took a picture of her holding her medal. And I thought this perspective was really unique and fun. I always find it challenging to draw people, which I think is the most intimidating for anyone to draw. So um, I haven't really got to faces as much in this part of my book, but the hands definitely is something I've been practicing on. 
and that's my journal. So I have started another journal and I have been posting my daily journal drawings on Instagram. If you want to follow along, that's at Leanne Land Art on Instagram. I also sell some of my stickers like this bird here and I have a few others from my drawings and that's on my Etsy shop, which is Shop Leanne on Etsy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe it's inspired you to do some art over the holidays um, or just bring out your watercolors if you haven't done them in a while. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you're notified as I post more videos to my channel. Take care and have a wonderful new year.